Hey guys, Ryan here. Today we're going to be doing the top 10 favorite volumes of the Walking Dead comic book series up to current day from volume 1 through volume 27, any volumes I like the most. So, yeah, we got a really good selection here. All of them are amazing, but I have to tell you, my favorite one in particular, my number one that I like the most, it might be a little, you guys might not, uh, you know, really think it is. You guys might not really think that it's actually that good of a volume, but I love it. It's my favorite volume. Um, and here's a hint to it. Every volume Robert Kirkman goes, the story gets better and better and better and better, if that tells you anything. So, but either way, so number 10 is volume 8. So, yeah, volume 8 made to suffer was a huge volume for the Walking Dead comic book series. You have huge deaths. You have Herschel, Laurie, Tyrese, um, Billy, Patricia. Where is it on? Where is it? The governor, yeah, he's a big one. Um, Axel, yeah, Axel is. Alice dies. Um, what's, is that guy's name Bruce or something? I don't know. Um, yeah, just lots of deaths and lots of awesome stuff. And also you have, they lose the prison and stuff. So yeah, volume eight's number 10. Number nine is volume 14, No Way Out. No Way Out definitely, definitely is an amazing story arc. Walkers break into the walls and they fight them off all by themselves. And you have some really big deaths. You have the death of Morgan. Oh, that's Bruce. Yeah, his name's Bruce. Um, right here, death. Bruce dies, um, Douglas dies, Jesse dies, Ron dies, Tobin dies, Morgan dies. Yeah, some pretty big deaths. Um, but and then, so they, oh yeah, Carl loses an eye. Can't forget that. So yeah, great, great volume. Volume 14. And um, number seven is volume 26, Call to Arms. Just the cover in general. Isn't that intriguing? I think that's an amazing cover. Um, so yeah, it, it, it's like a new, it's a brand new story arc kind of, but you still have the whispers there. So yeah, um, you first you have, Eugene finding the radio, I mean, finding, meeting someone with that. He ha he gets the radio in volume 24, um, and then now he communicates with somebody. Um, you have Gabriel wanting to help out. Um, so yeah. Then you have Brandon betray Rick for killing his father. Maggie leaves to go back to the hilltop. Negan escapes. Negan goes back to the Whispers. Dwight, like, has his own force. Um... Negan kills Brandon, um, goes to meet the Whispers, and yeah, really it all ends up the way Negan planned, and he kills Alpha, and, and that carries on to another volume in within this. So yeah, then we have volume 17 for number um, 7, for spot number 7. My 7th favorite volume is volume 17, Something to Fear. Great, great volume. You have the, um, kind of like the introduction to the, of the Saviors, you know? Um, you have the death of Abraham, Glenn, um, the introduction to Negan, the introduction to Dwight, just a huge volume in general, you know, um, so yeah, just a great, great volume, um, I really like this part where they capture Dwight, yeah, that's really cool, so volume 17, and then volume 22, a new beginning is, um, my sixth favorite volume. It's so awesome. You can see the aftermath of the war, how they've improved the entire communities um, besides the kingdom. It doesn't show the kingdom. Actually, we don't. We haven't seen the king. We don't see the kingdom till volume twenty-seven, um, which is actually like a page or so. You know, till when we get to see William and stuff. Oh, we got to see people from the kingdom, but we never actually got to see inside the kingdom. So yeah, we get to see the new and improved. Well, kind of not the new and improved, but we get to see Negan. Um, an awesome volume we get to see they're making their own bread now maggie has had her kid um her child carl moves to the hilltop just in general amazing volume we have and we have the introduction to the whispers so yeah great volume volume 19 takes the spot for number five um my fifth favorite volume it's so it's such an awesome volume we have the death of spencer we get to see maggie at the hilltop and we have the introduction to brianna which these days now she actually plays a pretty big role in walking dead Brianna, well, like not a huge role, but a pretty big one. Um, we have, <clears throat> we have them finally coming back to, we have them coming back to fight Negan. 
uh, and get some revenge for it. Um, we have Ezekiel coming in and all that awesome stuff. And we also have the first bonding experience pretty much between Jesus and Aaron as well in this. I'll show you guys it. If I can find it. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Back here. Yeah, right here. Um, I had the, I was on the page the whole time. So, yeah, we have a really cool bonding experience between Jesus and Aaron, which now are a couple. So, then we have the cool, awesome, we have the awesome um, fight between Andrea and the Savior. Lucille gets shot. And then we have the awesome fight between just everybody. You know, the Saviors against Rick, Alexandria, you know, Alexandria Kingdom and Hills Up. And then we have them going to war. So, yeah. And then taking the spot for my fourth favorite volume is Volume 24, Life and Death. We have the th th death of 13 people in this volume. We have the death of Gregory. We have the death of, let's go back and take a look. We have the death of Ezekiel, Rosita, Oscar, Amber, Ken. This guy's name's not mentioned, but so yeah, here's six people. And then we have six more on this page, which is Aaron, Luke, Tammy, Dr. Carson's brother, Josh and Olivia, and then we also have the death of Gregory, you know, because uh, Maggie hangs in. We also have the reintroduction to Dwight, and the reintroduction to Michonne, and the reintroduction to Ezekiel. And then they have the fair, Alpha sneaks in, and all that stuff. And we get to see her huge herd that she is not afraid to use against Rick. So, yeah, volume 24. And then Taking third spot, we have Volume 21, All Out War Part 2, which is an amazing volume. Um, you have it um, opening up with a really awesome open. It's a really awesome opening with Eugene. Um, all these walkers come, but sadly a guy gets torn apart by one, and then Negan saves when they fall out the door, and then Negan's right there. And it's kind of scary at first because you don't know who it is, and then we also have the death of Denise. We have we get to see Alexandria and how it's all you know banged up, man. There's bombs and you can see how it explodes everywhere. You have them moving to the hilltop right there. Really cool panel. I actually really like that panel. Um, we have Dwight confirming that he's on our side. We have Negan coming up with his own idea of covering all their weapons in zombie, you know, zombie um, guts and all that stuff. And then if they hurt, if they hit somebody with it, it'll kill him. We have Rick actually getting shot by Dwight, but he doesn't die because um, Dwight didn't do that. To, Dwight didn't um, cover it with. Um, they don't cover it with zombie. Sorry about that. We have the death of Kyle, Kale. Then they attack the hilltop. It's just an awesome war. I cannot tell you how awesome this war is. Um, so then we have the death of Nicholas as well. And once we get the and once the final war is over with the confrontation between Rick and Negan, uh, Rick slices Negan's throat, and then we begin the end of all at war. Uh, he and then Rick doesn't kill Negan after all. He says you're gonna die. You're going to die. You're going to rot in jail until you die, old man Negan. So then we have, um, in second place we have volume twenty, all at war part one. Awesome. We have the first um, attack on the sanctuary. We have this awesome confrontation between Rick and Negan at the beginning. And then we figure out Gregory pretty much is a traitor. And then the attack is on Holly. Attacks by herself. Um, which obviously wasn't the smartest idea. The sanctuary gets covered, surrounded, however you want to put it, by walkers. Just look at all these walkers. Look. Like. They have to go back and they're trying to take them all out. Yeah, they have to go back inside because there's just too many. Um, so then David tries to rape Holly and Negan kills David. Then we have Maggie's awesome, I believe in Rick Grimes speech, the death of Eric, the death of Shiva. Just amazing, awesome stuff. Then we have the attack of Alexandria, the death of, so the confirmed death of Holly. Heath loses a leg. Um, <clears throat> Dwight is confirmed on our side. Also, it's not confirmed, but he's kind of, it shows kind of that he's on our side. And you have him shooting all these saviors with the bombs and grenades and all that stuff. Um, then, um, Denise does get bit as well. So, yeah, then 
Negan thinks that they won, but they didn't. Taking the number one spot, the number one is the newest volume, volume 27, The Whisper War. Oh my god, just, this cover is pro my favorite cover. It's so awesome. Like, just look at that. It's amazing. I love it. Um, oh my god, so good. Get the death of Gabriel. Sadly, I do not want him to go. Death of Lucille. You have this humongous herd heading right towards Alexandria. You have the saviors talking about turning on Alexandria. The attack of the hilltop. Um, and then you have um, our group themselves turning into whispers. So that's Dwight is a whisper. So yeah, hopefully you guys liked my top 10 um, favorite volumes of The Walking Dead. So um, leave your top 10 down below. And I'll see you guys next time for another TWD channel for another TWD video on Ryan's WD channel.